Hey guys, so I'm about to watch season Arrow, season eight, episode eight, um, Christ on Infinite Earth, part four, um, the long-awaited um, one of two-part conclusion to the series. Um, I did try to. I wanted to go get a poster for this video, which feature you know the new one, which features you know Oliver Queen as a Spectre. And I gotta say that I'm a little bit pissed off and kind of dampers my enthusiasm for watching this because. First of all, I don't want to, I don't want to get any bullcrap about saying like oh you, you should have stayed off the internet to avoid spoilers. I was just trying to get this specific poster. The fact that I went on there and during the Google image search it spoiled the fact that Ezra Miller's Flash was showing up in this event. Um, and apparently it's from Screwman.com. Um, so I just want to say, basically, go fuck yourself to the author to you impatient clickbait desperate motherfucker for spoiling that for me and now they rant done anyway i think you know but besides that oliver queen is the specter is one of the things i'm looking forward to i mean i feel like you know again i think like katie lots and the other problem is that katie lots spoiled that um emily but our cards were sh gonna have a cameo in this because i guess you know it seems like barry and oliver and car are gonna be reliving events from past uh Events from um, past Arrowverse shows, um, based on the trailers, including like Elspeth's crossover, the Invasion crossover, and um, I guess Sarah Lance's death in season Arrow season three. Um, is this speaking of the positive? Like, speaking of Arrow, I think this season of Arrow has probably been the best that it's ever. It's probably been like the best season since season. Um, Two, and unlike you know the Game of Thrones season eight finale, it's actually their eighth and final season has felt like been so far been a a well like a well paced satisfying conclusion to the series and a love letter to the fans. So that's the thing I gotta say about Arrow. I liked how they watched you know his kid you know um, William and uh, Mia and. Connor from the future, you know, they try to like, you know, they, they're clearly addressing criticisms from flash forwards, you know, from season seven. I personally like the flash forwards, but I can understand why most people didn't. And that's, and they were clearly trying to address, address criticism of trying to make those storylines be more integrated and, you know, have that everything come full circle. And which is, you know, it's why they, you know, have like, you know, the season premiere being an homage to stuff from season one, the second episode, like the second one and episodes from you know two and three be homages to um season season three and you know you know the Destro gang you know be, I guess you can say that's a bit of an homage to season two and episode five being an homage to season to you know the Russia flashback in season five um I think what was six again. You know, season six bringing back you know, uh, you know Quentin Lance and alternate reality where they were like, um, you know, they both got to say both Oliver and Earth Two Laura got to say their good proper goodbyes to that to him and realizing you know Oliver accepting he can't find his own fate and you know episode seven where they were back on Lian Yu and it's like all of a sudden it's like you know Yao Feng and Edward Fires and his crew were like brought back from the dead because of like nexus energy just like it's kind of a vague explanation but it's the reason why it was my least favorite of the uh, episode of the season so far but otherwise it's been a very solid season you know this cr crossover has been very solid i'm waiting to see what other surprises have in store hopefully that you know those aren't you know felicity and ezra miller ezra miller's flash not being the only things that have been spoiled for me, the, the other surprise in store, um, how many of the Earths merge, all the other stuff. But again, I've, I've said enough. You know, let's let's check this out. Sweeping. Oh, this is the monitor in the end monitor origin story. The dawn of time. No, it is. It just isn't the dawn of time of our universe. What? You breached the wall between our universe and its opposite. An anti universe. Your body is infused with coral radiation. The suit couldn't contain it. Mar? Mar, can you hear?
hear me? I'm sorry, my love. My towering ambition has doomed us all. What the hell? It's over Time Master's tech. Mr. Luther and I have retrofitted it into a teleportation device. People already. Thanks for volunteering, Lex. Well, that's very cold. Is it because I killed your parallel reality cousin? Start it up. Whoa! Where am I? Where am I? Vanishing point. You've been gone for months. What are you talking about? I just left two seconds ago. But to go be the speed force is our last best hope. It is. The speed force is the key to saving you. What do you... I've unlocked your potential, Barry. Touching my head. Use this power with caution. Are you Oliver Queen? Yes. Then I trust you with every cell in my body. Good. Now run, Mary. and I am utilizing various pieces of my essence to keep me, Sarah, John, and Kate together. That's why I'm here. This is, this is where we first met. There are a few... Hello? <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm asking myself the same question. Literary Allen. No! What does that mean? How can this... This should be impossible now. It should be impossible now? You don't know about the... Oh my god, don't do... Right. What are you up to, Lex? Universal domination, of course. Oh, I probably should have mentioned that I gave myself a few upgrades when I checked the Book of Destiny out of the library. Essential Lex Luthor. He's basically evil from way. You were fated to die trying to save the world. Before you died, you said you'd given up everything for me and Kara. You made some kind of devil's bargain with the Monitor to save us, didn't you? No, it wasn't a devil's bargain, Barry, and I'd make it again in a second. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's a long, very weird story. I'll get you up on the way. On the way to where? You're not taking her anywhere. I'm sorry, like I said. So you guys are... I'm the one man of the countless universe. But within the tapestry of the multiverse, there will always be one more known who cannot turn from his towering ambition. And in that inevitability, there is destiny. Welcome. Being a hero feels like. Interesting. Where's Oliver? There! Oliver. What is that? I would like this spark. While you fan the flame. He said you would know what to do. I think dying kind of messed with his head. Well, thank you. are meant to be the genius. The genius has had the fortitude to read the Book of Destiny and retain his sanity. I think the jury's still out on that one. The Book of Destiny? I made myself the paragon of truth. What if truth can tell us what we need to do? Being what? Use what's left of the book to fan the flame. How do we all use the book? We focus. The 
singular laser-like focus. On what? Humanity. Truth. Love. Destiny. Honor. Courage. And hope. Ollie, they're gonna be fine, all right? You're gonna be fine. You did it. You all did. You all did it. Did what? What did we do? Just look. Ollie, we saw, but what is it? It's a new universe. It's kind of small for a universe. Wait for it, Barry. It's almost time. Almost time. There. You did it. No, Ollie. You did it, okay? And that's why you gotta come back with us. So we need you to hang on, okay? Sarah, this is just what the monitor said would happen. <coughs> what? It must end. It's the beginning. You remember what I told you? Easy part. I'm at peace. The real heroes. They're the ones who have to keep going. So keep going. Don't ever stop. This world. This new world. It needs both of you. What? Right, what? Right. He's supposed to be immortal. He can't die again. Again? Good God, that was insane and intense, and it definitely had a very, like, endgame vibe to this. Um, you know, the whole, like, you know, like, re I mean, it weren't, like, exactly time travel, but through the Speed Force, we had different characters, you know, like, reliving events from past Arrowverse episodes. Um, I don't remember, it was, like, three episode, like, Air like Arrow episode three... <sighs> something i don't remember i don't remember you know oliver finding out about the adam and adam and ray palmer finding out about oliver is the arrow um you know reliving like three like three oh like event like events of like 302 of arrow through a different perspective um you know apparently you know diggle encouraging um Kit, um, the Earth One, Laurel Lance to become Black Canary, and um, 
which I knew was just going to be a cameo, it was just to be like a hallucination or whatever, which is why I'm still, which, you know, it's not really good enough. I'm still all more pissed off that it's like, you know, um, Earth 2 Laurel's Earth was the first Earth in the multiverse to be destroyed. She should have had a bigger role in this. She had so much at so much um, personal stake in this. Yet Mark Guggenheim, being Mark Guggenheim and just not liking Katie Cassidy for whatever reason, made her character that character sit it out. You know, we got to relive um, the events of part three of Invasion, where they just escaped from the Dominators and. Oliver's telling Card, you know, sit, you know, sit things out because he was just too just weirded out by the experience and you know, just also get, being kind of a dick back then. Um, you know, reliving when they first met, you know, in the in uh, the Scientist, the episode from season two, the two of the two part mid season finale of season two. You know, living part three of Elseworld, where Oliver used that error to stop destroy the Book of Destiny and stop Deegan and you're leaving the full the full extent of the deal of with the monitor you know because you know they're you know, how they're met, almost gonna die trying to stop Deegan and Oliver said he would die in their place and then battle was intense you know people kept saying it's like we're gonna say like we're gonna bring the Oliver's going to say something to the anti monitor saying you have failed this multiverse, and he just said you would fail this universe. He still saw the line, and it sounded like cheesy. And, you know, like, just like in the Com Crisis Infinite Events comic, you know, the battle between the anti monitor and the Spectre, you know, caused like, an, like almost another big bang, and, you know, or at least created like a new universe or a singular universe, which I don't know if it's entirely possible. I mean, I, I feel like they had to have brought back some of the multiverse. Because, you know, Titans is on Earth-9, is on a different Earth, completely incompatible with, um, you know, stuff that happened in the Arrowverse, and, you know, like the two, the, the two different versions of Slade, you know, Batman still being active on Earth-9, while the Earth-1's, like, he's not active and is missing, and that's the reason why Kate, you know, carried on his legacy, and... And, you know, we saw, like, Ezra Miller's Flash, and, I mean, even though I'm not a fan of his version of the Flash, the biggest fan of it, it was still kind of cool to see. It's like, oh, they really did connect it to the DC ex extended movie universe. So that's still got to be, like, a thing, because, like you said, that's ongoing. He's, you know, that version of the Flash is supposed to get his own movie. We're still getting more movies from that universe, so... I think it's more of a singular universe for, like, CW... It's obviously going to be a singular universe for, you know... DCCW shows, at least. And other ongoing, um, and, and I guess like the other shows that are not ongoing, shows or movies that are not ongoing, Smallville, the 66 Batman, Birds of Prey. Um, you know, they're probably not coming back. I don't know, I could be proven wrong, but um, we'll see. But other than that, you know, I'm about to go watch the part five, the final part of it. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, I, I, just, I don't know. I felt like I thought it would have been like, you know, like sobbing and crying about, you know, Oliver's death. But it's like, I guess somebody already predicted, it's like, oh, he's going to die again. Um, so, it didn't, at least this one didn't feel like as anticlimactic as like his first death. So, anyway, what do you guys think of everything? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.